Ptolemy's model of the solar system, the planets move on small circles and big circles, but his model was incorrect. It explained the motions observed in the sky fairly accurately. The sun is right in the center of the model this time called heliocentric system. Copernican, Copernicus worked out the arrangement of the known planets and how they move around the sun. Galileo's evidence, Galileo used the newly invented telescope to make discoveries that supported the heliocentric model. Tycho Brahe's observations, Tycho Brahe and his assistants made much more accurate observations without a telescope. Kepler's first law, Kepler found that the orbit of each planet is an ellipse. Kepler's second law, Kepler found that each planet moves faster when it is closer to the sun and slower when it is farther away from the sun. Kepler's third law, Kepler also found that the time that it takes a planet to orbit the sun and its average distance from the sun are related. The sun, the sun is a huge ball of ionized gas, or plasma, throughout. Sun size, the sun's core has a diameter of about 400,000 km, more than 30 times Earth's diameter. Sunspots, sunspots are areas of gas on the sun's surface that are cooler than the gases around them. Sunspots usually occur in groups. Huge reddish loops of gas called prominence. Mercury is the smallest terrestrial planet and the planet closest to the sun. Venus is so similar in size and mass to Earth that it is sometimes called Earth's twin. Mars is called the red planet. When you see it in the sun, it has a slightly reddish tint. Jupiter is the largest and most massive planet. The second largest planet in the solar system is Saturn. Although the gas giant Uranus is about four times the diameter of Earth, it is still much smaller than Jupiter and Saturn. Neptune is a cold, blue planet. Comets are loose collections of ice, dust, and small rocky particles whose orbits are usually very long, narrow ellipses.